everybody. Happy Friday. Today we are going to do some stretches with Miss Nika and we're going to explore some tide pools. But first, let's check in with Miss Lori and see how things are going at the gym. Okay guys, I think we might have a problem. I think some zoo animals may have gotten loose in the gym. Can you guys help me look for them? Oh no. Do you guys hear something? Oh dear. Huh? Oh my goodness! There's a tiger! <gasps> what are we gonna do? There's a tiger in the gym! Oh, no! What do we hear over here? Ah! Oh no! An alligator! Ah! Oh no! <gasps> you hear the purring? Maze. Oh, he's so cute. Do you guys hear something munching around the tumble track? Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. What are we gonna do? Oh geez. There's a panda bear on the tumble track. Oh no. Hey guys, I hear something in the bathroom. Um, oh no, oh, there's a shark in the bathroom. Well then guys, that was quite something. Did you guys like to see all the animals? Let's make sure that they are all gone. Oh, yeah, no panda bear. No tigers, no alligators. I mean, if the kitty... Oh, phew. Okay, well, that's good. At least we got all the animals out. Now, if we could just get you guys back in. That would be perfect. <laughs> Hope you guys have a fun week. See you soon. Hi, kiddos. Okay, so today let's sit in a straddle. Just like this. Okay. Reach over. Go over here. And then stretch in the middle. And then bring your toes just together. You guys bring your toes together. Okay. Sit in the butterfly. Flap those wings. Flap those wings. Okay, this one's my favorite. Lay down. Even sideways. And do the bicycle. Put your legs up. Start moving them. Just like that. Hey guys, we're at the beach today and we're going to go explore the tide pools and find some wildlife. Let's see what we can find. Look at these awesome hermit crabs. Do you know what a hermit crab is? Hermit crabs have kind of a funny name for two reasons. First, a hermit is someone who likes to live alone, which is not true for hermit crabs. Hermit crabs are social animals, which means they live in groups. Hermit crabs can live in groups of a hundred or more. Second, hermit crabs are not considered true crabs. True crabs have an exoskeleton over their whole body. Do you remember what an exoskeleton is? We talked about it last week. A hermit crab only has an exoskeleton on the front half of its body, so it finds a shell to protect the back half of its body. Hermit crabs will find a shell that another animal does not need anymore to live in and keep the soft part of its body safe.
I know things have been different lately and that's very scary. I know that you guys miss doing fun things like coming to gymnastics and going to the park. But you know what? You're kind of like a superhero right now. Staying home all this time has been really hard, but it has helped so many people keep safe and healthy. I want to read you guys a story about this germ that is making us all stay home right now. This book is called The Germ That Got Tired of Waiting. On a morning in March, a warm, bright, sunny day, when the flowers were blooming in a spring kind of way, something started to happen, what seemed like a buzz, but it wasn't from bees, as it oftentimes was, a strange kind of buzz from grown-ups, from friends, from teachers, from neighbors, from all odds and ends. The news said a bad guy who no one could see was being real bad, like bad guys like to be. He was tiny and mean and he made people sick, although hand washing did seem to be a good trick. But that wasn't enough to keep him away. So things started changing in what felt like a day. No more school, no more stores, no more going to eat, no more playdates, no more parties, no more people on the street. And it seemed kind of sad and it felt really strange. Stay away and stay in was what needed to change. That mean old bad germ really ruined the fun. I don't like that mean germ. I don't like him a ton. But a funny thing happened. I didn't notice at first. At first when it happened, I only thought the worst. But you see what did happen when we all stayed away? We actually spent more time doing fun things to play. We made crafts and played cards. We rode bikes and took walks. We built forts and read books and had tons of fun talks. And what started to happen is the buzz started fading and that germ started leaving. He got tired of waiting. That mean old bad germ couldn't get us no more. When we stayed away, the bad germ was done for. And you know what I think? That we learned quite a lot. Sometimes staying away isn't as hard as we thought. I am so proud of you right now. You are being so brave and doing such a great job at home. I can't wait until we get to see you in the gym again. Bye.